Today is day five of 21 Days of Hunger. Chapter five of the Gospel of John is the record of the healing at the Pool of Bethesda. Unlike most of the miracles of Jesus' ministry, Jesus himself approached the man at the pool. He asked him if he wanted to get well. God certainly had a plan and a purpose for this particular healing on this particular day. The man's response to Jesus was to begin giving excuses of why he hadn't been healed. After all, he's been infirm for 38 years. He doubted. He had no faith. It seemed he had almost given up. But we would say, but God. The man would be used as a testimony not only to God's power to heal, but even more importantly, to reveal the purpose of Jesus' ministry. Jesus wasn't accepting any excuses from the man. He actually cut him short and said, get up, take up your bed and walk. The man, either desperate for a cure or perhaps intimidated by Jesus' command to him, did exactly as Jesus told him to do. In front of a large crowd at the pool, the man got up and walked. God was achieving his very purpose at that very moment. There had been miracles there at the pool, but never like this before. At times, we may even struggle with doubt about God's power. We may struggle with doubt whether God cares about us, or does he even hear us? Maybe the reason for our doubt is because he hasn't answered our prayers as we would have liked or as we would have expected him to. But that doesn't prove he's unable or unwilling to do what we desire. <clears throat> it just demonstrates that he has a different plan in mind for us. Living by faith isn't a matter of asking and then expecting God to do what we want, but rather it is trusting him, knowing he loves us and has a purpose for every circumstance. The bigger part of growing our faith is submitting to his will. At the pool of Bethesda, God had a plan to reveal his power to heal. More importantly, God had a plan to reveal to the leaders in no uncertain terms that Jesus is the Son of God. That was God's plan. In John 24, Jesus says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. During this time of prayer and fasting, let's ask God to build our faith and our trust in Him. Let's take the time to ask God to build our faith so we will be ready to have peace for those trials that come. Let's get into Scripture and learn more of God's divine nature and wisdom. Let's set our mind on God's promises. Let's reflect on the Lord's past faithfulness, both in Scripture and in our personal experience. We can stabilize our faith by choosing to trust God rather than to look at our circumstances. The truth of Scripture stands firm. If Jesus tells us to get up and walk, we can and we will get up and walk, all for God's glory. So get into chapter 5 today of the Gospel of John and see what God has for you.